second chill water, close out. Stage two, locks load, closing out. Crown glass close out is starting. Falcon 9 is in startup. Ground gas close as it's complete. Go for launch. Stage 2 is pressing for flight. T minus 30 seconds. Stage one, pressing for flight. T minus fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Those of you just joining us, you are watching a live view of the Falcon 9 rocket as it ascends through the atmosphere carrying the SpaceX Dragon 2 capsule to vehicle orbit. Is super. The vehicle just passed through max Q, which is the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. As you can hear in the background, the excitement at SpaceX headquarters is unbelievable here. The vehicle is passing through max Q. You heard that call out from Max Q on the nets. Uh, the Falcon 9 actually throttles down its nine Merlin engines to reduce aerodynamic loads on the vehicle. Uh, it is now throttling those engines back up. Coming up at T plus two minutes and 35 seconds is going to be I'm three events in quick succession. The first one is going to be the main engine cutoff, or MECO. That's when the nine Merlin 1D engines that you can see on your screen right now uh, will cut off uh, shortly before a stage separation at two minutes and 38 seconds. Shortly after that, the Merlin vacuum engine on the bottom of the second stage of the Falcon 9 will ignite in what we call second engine start, or SES. That will be at two minutes and 46 seconds. So stand by for main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start coming up in just about 20 seconds from now.
stage. <laughs> As you can hear from the cheering here at SpaceX headquarters, uh, we did have a successful main engine cutoff, a stage separation. And uh, as you can see on the right-hand side of your screen, that second, uh, second stage engine is currently started and accelerating Dragon towards orbit. On the left-hand side of your screen, that is a view from the first stage as it makes its way back down towards the Earth. Uh, let's go down to Lauren and Dan for updates on that first stage recovery. All right, so as you can just see, we lifted off. We had an awesome liftoff of stage one, and stage two is burning beautifully. Stage one also has a secondary mission that it is performing right now, which is getting ready to come back to the drone ship and land. So stage one is going to execute two burns before landing on the drone ship. The first is the entry burn start, which is starting at T plus seven minutes and 48 seconds approximately. Uh, that's where three of the M1D engines will reignite. And what that burn does is it slows down stage one as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. If we didn't do that, that aerodynamic re-entry heating, the aero heating would heat up stage one and it would potentially break it apart. So we got to slow it down. Uh, from there, if stage one is going to coast its way back down using those grid fins to help steer it. And then it'll execute the landing burn. That's going to happen at T plus nine minutes and 24 seconds. That's where we're going to reignite that center E9 engine to hopefully bring stage one down to a beautiful stop right on the drone ship. That's right, and while all that's happening, the second stage, which you can see glowing bright here, continuing to power Dragon, it's going to continue burning until just about nine minutes after launch. So at eight minutes and 59 seconds is where it's targeted to cut off. Down to a single engine, but that one providing a little over 200,000 pounds of thrust to carry Dragon through the upper parts of Earth's atmosphere. Not as much resistance to fight against once you're up this high. And it's going to get Dragon into that initial orbit, and it's still going to be a couple hundred kilometers beneath the station. And then it'll be turned over to thrusters on Dragon once it separates from that second stage to then begin the chase down of the orbiting laboratory. But Five minutes, 11 seconds and counting past launch. All the calls so far indicating nominal performance. So we're continuing to see great stuff so far uh, from both, Falcon, uh, both stages of Falcon 9. Okay, we're hearing that MVAC is performing nominally. It's looking good on power. Temperatures are good. And stage one continues to come back nominally and look over there on the left on your screen. You see that picture of Ripley in that zero G indicator. That's right, keep an eye out as long as we have the view. As soon as Dragon's separated and it's essentially then in its free flight mode, you're gonna see that a little planet Earth start to float up. So keep an eye out once we, once we separate Dragon in just a couple of minutes from now. Six minutes past launch. Trajectory continues to be nominal on stage two. Still have about two and a half more minutes left of this burn, at which point MVAC will shut down. We're just under a minute away from that entry burn on stage one that I mentioned before. Second stage burn continues to burn nominally. All right, we're over seven minutes since that liftoff. Feels like it was 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Continuing to carry Dragon up. It's gonna make it to that initial orbit after it separates. The separation coming about a minute after that second stage cutoff. Stage two, propellant tank pressures are looking good. The burn continues to be healthy. Let's listen in on the call outs. Stage one, FTS is safe. Stage one, entry burn has started. Look at that plane. So it's three M1D engines reigniting. The burn is going to continue on for about another 18 or so seconds. So a little back-to-back -back action now as we see stage one coming back down towards Earth, stage two still making its way up into outer space. The dragon still nestled on top, getting ready. Stage one, entry burn, yeah. shutdown. And there's the end of that stage one stage shutdown. Two, okay, so stage one's gonna continue to coast its way down using those grid fins for attitude control and steering. 
next and milestone. Just under a See ya. Ah, that's right. It's coming up in about 10 seconds. Index throttling now for Seco. Stage one is trans. And we have had a successful shutdown. Vimbeck. All right. Stage one landing burn is supposed to start. At the start of that burn, stage one will be traveling at 275 meters per second. That single engine burn is going to bring that from 275 to zero. We did just hear that stage one landing burn has started. Wow, what a landing uh, coming up very shortly in just about 20 seconds here. Uh, the Dragon spacecraft is going to be separating from the top of the Falcon 9 rocket. Separation should be occurring around 11 minutes and 5 seconds, just about now. Let's wait for confirmation. Dragon, separation confirmed. And there it is. You're looking at a view from the top of the second stage of the Falcon 9 rocket. And uh, hard to make out in the uh, shadow of the Earth, but that is the Dragon 2 spacecraft uh, flying in space for the first time after a successful separation. This is a, a great day for everyone here at SpaceX and NASA. Uh, let's go back over to Gary and Johnson and see how they're handling it over there. Uh, it's kind of crazy over here. How is it here, over there, Gary? Thanks, Tom. We were uh, definitely enjoying hearing uh, some of the cheers from over you guys. Well, you can actually kind of see behind us, we got quite a number of viewers here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room. Very exciting time that we have <laughs> now that they're waving. Uh, so this is uh, for us here in Mission Control Houston. This is just the beginning now that uh, Dragon is in orbit. Uh, we have... Um, uh, just over a day until Dragon's uh, scheduled to be docked to the International Space Station. There's a li lot of milestones to get through. The crew have been, again, reviewing their procedures, uh, getting ready for some of those moments, again, monitoring the approach and even performing some commands uh, while the Dragon is close enough. But again, there's a lot of work to do. Uh, we have docking scheduled for 6 a.m. tomorrow. We'll uh, continue to monitor uh, Dragon during that time. In the meantime, we'll toss to Lauren and Dan uh, to witness some of these fi final milestones of Dragon now that it is uh, in orbit. Back to you. Thank you, Gary. Now for a typical CRS mission right about now, we'll be awaiting solar array deployment. That's right, and as Tom just mentioned, the nose cone is going to be opening, and that's going to expose those guidance and navigation control sensors and the docking mechanism. And then pretty soon, Dragon's going to execute that series of burns to gradually raise its orbit up to align more closely with the International Space Station. So for a quick mission over cap, or <laughs> overview recap, we had a successful launch of Stage 1 and Dragon, of course. We landed Stage 1 on the drone ship, had video the whole way down. You got to check that out. Dragon has separated, it's activated, and it's now on its mission. So on behalf of SpaceX and NASA, thank you for watching today's broadcast. 
thank you for your interest in the mission, and a big thank you to the Eastern Range for helping make today's launch possible. And True Dragon's mission obviously far from over. It's going to spend the next day or so on its way to the space station. It's going to arrive in dock just before 6 a.m. Eastern tomorrow, and it's going to spend five days attached. To get there, it's going to begin that series of phasing burns to raise its orbit just beneath the space station, at which point we will begin that slow and steady approach to docking. We will be broadcasting Dragon's arrival and docking live on SpaceX.com and NASA TV. Our coverage will begin at 3.30 a.m. Eastern Time, so be sure to follow SpaceX and NASA on social media for real-time updates. Thank you again for watching, and hopefully you'll join us for docking. T-minus 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Ignition. Lift off.